What's going on, guys? This is my first episode of Versus. This is my little intro here. Uh, this 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 series I'm starting is just gonna pin games against games. I know a few other people have done it, but I haven't seen it too much. And uh, this first episode, as you can see in the title, is Modern Warfare versus Modern Warfare 2, or Call of Duty 4 versus Call of Duty 6, whatever you prefer. Now, I'd like to say first, half of this, 50% of this, is my opinion. The other 50% of this is the uh, community's opinion. So, if you have a beef, you know, I don't, I guess, uh, that isn't all me. 50% of it is, you know, the majority. Also, um, if you do not like my opinions, and if, you, if I do not follow what you think, that's no reason to get mad, no reason to start flaming or hating, because that's but retarded. If you wear a hoodie and the other person wears a jacket, are you gonna get mad at them wearing a jacket if you're wearing a hoodie? I mean, it's video games, guys. Chill. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. So yeah, let's get started. Call of Duty: Modern Warfare versus Modern Warfare 2. But a bang, bada boo. Also, this is my first scripted video. Video. I have a script, kind of. So you guys will probably see that. I don't know. I'll try to get better at. Uh, working with scripts. Let's start. Alright, guys, first let's cover the gameplay. The gameplay in Modern Warfare 2 is just. Ugh. It forces you to stay in cover in the back of the map so you can kill people from behind. Because if you get a straight up fight, either the one with the better connection or the better gun is gonna win. Or if they like drop shot or do something cheap like that. A major problem here is the guns. Most of the guns in this game aren't equal to each other, and that's. An annoying big problem. For example, the Spaz versus the Striker. The Spaz will always win. Same with the Desert Eagle versus the Rafika. The Raficas will 90% of the time win. You could say, well, the game has more weapons, and that's fine, but what's the point of have having more weapons as half the weapons are useless? Modern, Modern Warfare's gameplay is a little bit less restricting. This game allows you to run around the map actually shooting people because you don't die from a bullet or two. It takes a few. Also, you don't feel like you ever have to camp, making the game less restricting, which equals more fun. The guns work well together because they all, they're all not too powerful, you know? They have recoil, and if the gun shoots far, it doesn't shoot fast and with strength like the ACR. Sure, they have the M16 sniper rifles, but they're different. They, they're not too overpowered like in Modern Warfare. The winner, in my opinion, is Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare's gameplay is just simply to the point and fun. If you want to do great in Modern Warfare 2, you have to take advantage of every overpowered weapon and little camping spot. I'd rather play a game where I can get shot at and have a chance to get away, rather than a game where if I get shot at, I'll die before I even know what happened. Now let's hit up on graphics. The graphics between Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty 4 are hard to distinguish. This is because of the large two year time difference and in those two years graphics have very much involved. Uh, but I digress. I will try my best not to give Call of Duty 4 a handicap here because let's be honest, Modern Warfare 2's graphics are beautiful and original. I remember the first day I played it on my HCTV, I was stunned, but if I go back to Call of Duty 4, the graphics seem kind of dare I fa say bland, the character models aren't interesting at all, and the maps look very unoriginal. Basically you got your city maps, your city maps, and uh, your city maps. When Then when you look at Modern Warfare 2 you have a high variety of maps, so I would say Modern Warfare 2 wins in the graphics department for its originality and just for its colorfulness, prettiness, whatever you want to say. So uh, another point for er, Modern Warfare 2's first point is that. Uh, now let's set up the little things like the community, little complaints, glitches, and uh, knickknacks, as you may want to call them. Uh, the community that's within the games are surprisingly different at this point in time. You know, it's surprising because they're both pretty much similar games. Most of the obnoxious younglings are just the simple detestable people who have moved on to Modern Warfare 2, while a lot of the people who are more experienced or older have resided in the first game. Now this is good for Modern Warfare 1 because it allows a little amount of legit people that are left to actually communicate and have fun together. Most of the more drastic glitches in Call of Duty 4 have been passed, while a lot of the glitches in Modern Warfare 2 are still being created every day, making the game more and more frustrating every day. <laughs> I would say that Call of Duty 4 had more time to get ready, but Infinity Ward, Ward should have learned from the, their mistakes 
and should have fixed all or at least most of the bugs in the game before it was on the shelves. On the PC, the biggest complaint is that Modern Warfare 2 does not have dedicated servers. Now, I play on the Xbox, but I definitely can see how this could be a problem. I mean, a large reason people play on the PC is because they take pride in having their own dedicated servers and, you know, the whole modding thing. Call of Duty 4 took the right approach here, and it had no complaints like this. So why did they change it? Uh, I'm going to stop, you know talking about the little complaints and stuff I don't want this to turn into a rant but I'm sure you can see Call of Duty 4 definitely won this uh, side you know this category giving Call of Duty 4 two wins and Modern Warfare 2 only one so I declare Call of Duty 4 the winner alright guys we're coming to an end here I'm sure you know from what I've said Call of Duty 4 is the better game in my opinion in the majority's opinion I know this is a very controversial topic in the world of gaming but if you go into any real gaming forums that's not dedicated to Modern Warfare 2 you'll find out that the majority of gamers agree that Modern Warfare 2 sequel is the better of the two Modern Warfare 2 just has too many problems like the killstreak system the modded lobbies and all the other glitches there are and the glitches that will be found Making this game sadly a broken down version of the airtight Modern Warfare 1. The game has the potential to be the greater of the two, but Modern Warfare 1 proved that being a more fixed fun game rather than a demanding hardcore game will win the fight, and today it did. If you have any suggestions, don't fret to uh, throw them out. I could really use them. As I said, I don't have much experience with scripts, so I'll work on that, and hopefully I'll see you on my next versus video. Um, so... See you guys later. Good night, good day, and good evening. If you liked my video, please rate it. Uh, if you have something to say, post below. And if you liked me, please subscribe. Uh, I should have a few more of these in the future. Give me all your opinions, because this is all brand new to me. See you guys later. Bye-bye.